A woman crafting a successful small business one ball of yarn at a time and the surprise visitor she recently hosted. Let's take a look now at Fiber Space. My initial reaction when the vice president walked through the door was just sort of surreal and hard to believe that it's happening. We've been paying a lot of attention to the fact that during COVID, two and a half million women have left the workforce. She wanted to hear from a woman-owned business, particularly somebody that had children, and find out just how we've been impacted by the pandemic and what our big struggles were. And the core of the business here was interacting with our customers and all of that has stopped since the pandemic started. So we feel like the part of the business that makes us really special is on hold. We have been open for 12 years. My love for yarn came from learning to knit when I was a child from my grandmother and just finding stress relief in it while I was in graduate school. I was inspired to open Fiber Space because I was teaching knitting classes for extra money and a lot of my customers customers really wanted their own community space and one spot that they felt comfortable going in. As a woman-owned business, one of the biggest issues that I faced is not being taken seriously, particularly by banks and um, potential landlords. I, I guess hard for people that don't knit or crochet to understand that you can actually make a living selling yarn. We are a boutique yarn shop that really curates yarn from different parts of the country, so a lot of American-made yarn as well as some really unique stuff from around the world. We're really known for the, the unique yarns that we have in the shop. It's important to have a space like fiber space because it's a safe place, it's a fun place, it's a place that's filled with a lot of love. I love supporting women's small business. Thank you. The purchase of an item from a local business really just uh, permeates the rest of the community. Knitting is therapy and we're here for them when things are the hardest. This is their stress relief. I have multiple sclerosis. Working with fiber, knitting and crochet is really good for my blood pressure, my stress level. My shop is my baby, it's my livelihood. It's really incredible to be able to take something that was my hobby and have it be my income and be able to support me and my daughter. I am going to knit Dr. Ashton a sweater before the end of the year. I'm committing to it right now. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.